it was almost 20, more than 20 years ago, in fact, that I started working with people in poverty, and I was not somebody who had a lot of experience of it. But what I found is that people struggle through no fault of their own. Uh, seniors, uh, people who have disabilities, people who lose, have lost their jobs, or families that simply broke down, found themselves in difficulty. It's extremely important that people recognize they belong in society, participating. We will be so much stronger, and that's what I saw day after day working in the food banks, uh, working alongside people who became actually enthusiastic because of the kind of uh, dignity and generosity that we found bringing people together through the food bank. Right in this building, of course, it wasn't a supermarket at that time. It was the Daily Bread Food Bank, and we had it on loan from Loblaws at the time. My office was at that end. His office was at that end. He was young. It was 20 years ago, but very committed, very dedicated to what he was doing to helping lower-income people. He was quite inspirational. Eventually, of course, we moved to Lakeshore Boulevard to um, the building that we had there for many, many more years, and I continue to to work within there and the food bank grew and grew more and more people unfortunately needed it and we became very involved for instance in in um, the root causes of why they needed the food bank and and talking to Queen's Park and to government about what had to change so they actually didn't need us because none of us wanted to stay in the food bank business forever. I would say uh, what Gira Kennedy was uh, when he was the director of the Daily Food Bank that has been a tremendous help to my family. We, when I was at school uh, doing uh, social work, and uh, the Daily Food Bank be, be, has been, been what we've been using since then, till I graduated, and really it has been very helpful. And also, he's a very good leader, which I do understand. When I, I spoke with him then, uh, when he was there, I was a very good listener. He did ask me what I was studying. I do. I told him. You know, he said uh, very good. I really helped me to understand the idea of volunteerism in uh, in, in Canada as well. Being an immigrant, uh, it was very very helpful to me. You know, to really see him as a very good listener and he's a person that really he, he, he loved the community and he loved the people. And he said, uh, I would say, if you if you if you if you need him, like just if any free phone call at all, he's there to attend to you. He's a very good listener. So look, in, in the new Liberal government, we have a government that is finally going to put the needs of people on the margins first, in the sense that they're going to be part of society. They're going to get a chance to participate after five years through the income tax system with, with refundable tax credits for working people, for children, for seniors. We're going to lift about 30% of the people currently struggling out of poverty where they can contribute more to society. And we're also going to do is put 50% of children currently at risk, currently in situations that could lead to tougher outcomes later in their life in a much more secure place. They too will not see poverty. If you support us, the Dion Liberal government, displacing Mr. Harper and putting, I think, a face on Canada that we all can be proud of.